Thank you for all you've done. Thank you. Mrs. Brownsley, our apologies for 
being a bit late. <laughs> Submission is number point two. Good morning, Councillors. Uh, I only used the tick box submission form because I thought it was accurate. And my submission supports the change to two wards for the South Hill District. The Local Government Commission is exactly the same as any electoral commission. Representation on the political governing body is population based. And I feel that the proposal of the two wards for South Tokyo District is the fairest solution at this time. I also suggested North and South for the names of the wards. Because all we need is something to identify them geographically. I think that any continuation of identification based on community names will continue the parochialism that is still going on in this district. A district that was formed in 1969 and we still don't have a district vision or image to the general public. And that really concerns me. But the last representation um, chain review that we had, I can remember it was our opponent who wanted their own councillor. And legally it just is not possible to administer all those small communities. I still say there are other forms of them to have contact with council. Um, yeah, and I am concerned that uh, when we have the names of the wards, councillors still feel that they have a greater commitment to their area than to the district as a whole. It's not, it's a generalisation, I know, but it is very easy to fall into that trap. Based on my support for two wards, you don't have a T-Rail board. So it's not physically possible to have a T-Rail community board. You don't have boundaries. And you need those boundaries for a political entity. And I do see that the community board can be a burden on smaller committees. I know that TRAC have supported this review very strongly, but there have been times when there's been very difficulty in getting 